All right, so I just got out of the shower. I had a really intense workout this morning. I had gone to the gym. It had been about two weeks since I've been there, so I need to get back on a really steady schedule. Um, I've mentioned this on my DIY channel before, but I actually have carpal tunnel syndrome in my hands and at night they can get very painful and they can go really numb and fall asleep. Um, and the one thing actually that helps me get rid of that pain almost completely is working out. And I was really good at it the beginning of this year, obviously, um, but then they closed down the gyms for a while and I was able to go back and I'm just finally this past month, I started going back to the gym. I just hadn't been able to go in the past couple weeks. So I'm back at it and I'm trying to get healthy because I've been feeling really tired and sluggish lately and my knees have been kind of feeling the pain. So I gotta go back to the gym every day like I used to and that will help me with that. Plus it'll get rid of those COVID pounds that you know a lot of us have acquired over the past few months. So I have my sheets in the wash. Right now I am gonna go upstairs really quick because I've gotta do tomorrow's video. I also have one last DIY to do for Wednesday's video, which will probably be live by the time you guys see this. And um, I am gonna try to head to the grocery store because I, have, I need a few things for dinner tonight and a couple other things for the week since I really didn't get to go grocery shopping this weekend because Nelson and I were working so hard around the house nonstop and getting stuff done that honestly I didn't make a trip. We have a few things still left, we're not really empty, but um, there's a couple of condiments and like breakfast items for the kids that I like to have. So I need to go ahead and make sure I have those before the kids come home. So I'm gonna get to it. So I'm back really quick from the grocery store and I'm about to head back out again to pick up the kids but I wanted to make sure that all of the refrigerated items were put in the fridge. Someone has suggested the Shout Color Catcher sheets to see if maybe that would help with some of the staining or to prevent some of the staining that we're getting with our water until we get our um, filtration system and our pipes replaced. So I went ahead and got me a little pack of these so hopefully that might you know help a little bit. Um, we'll see how these work. Um, I got a package from Amazon. I had ordered some, let me see if I can get it open. I had ordered some setting powder and this is my favorite setting powder. It's only $7 for this little um, box and it's actually my favorite. It doesn't look like it's caked on my face. At least I don't think it does. <laughs> I had just run out, I had mine forever and I didn't want to go to Ulta and I was like, let me see if Amazon has it and sure enough, they had it. That's the one that I prefer and I stopped by the post office for a second and I had some mail. You guys know I have that secretary that I want to paint and Amy Howard at home reached out to me to send me some samples of their paint to see if I wanted to test them out. So I'm kind of looking through here and seeing all the options and I kind of like the fact that they actually put the real dot of paint because usually when they're just printed on a piece of paper they're never exactly the same and you can see this is the actual paint so that's kind of cool so I'll be looking over this and seeing um, what I might like to try out we'll see about that Okay, so it's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesdays, but in general, we don't make tacos, we actually make quesadillas, so it's Quesadilla Tuesday. I have my ground beef cooking right now. That's actually more than what we'll eat. I'll Usually what I do is, is I cook that, we use whatever we need, and then I'll save that for like a different dish the next day. I have my ingredients for my pico de gallo ready. I have my cilantro, onions, I have my tomatoes. I don't put garlic, I just happen to have that there. But And then um, a couple of my kids like to have white rice along with their quesadillas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the little rice cooker. I've already rinsed it out, cleaned it, and drained it. And um, that's what is for dinner today.
Oh yeah? Let's see if he'll do it now for the camera. No, Daddy did it. That's it. He got it over the branch. So this is the swing that we were supposed to put like about a week ago, <laughs> but we weren't able to because there was some construction debris, you know, some demo stuff underneath the tree where we wanted to put it. And it wasn't until Nelson could remove all that stuff and actually put it in the dumpster that we couldn't start to do like the swing. So now he's just putting it together and it's the rope is swung or the rope is up there in the right place right now, right babe? So yeah, hopefully they'll have a really cool swing in a little bit. You're so quiet and serious right now. You're focused. <laughs> <laughs> well the swing was a success and the kids spent quite some time outside this evening playing on that swing and we had so much fun that I totally forgot to do my signing out at the end of the night so this is me signing out calling it a vlog and I hope to see you guys in the next video tomorrow until then Adiós.